Now to the third story in our population series and tonight we take a look at the impact population growth is having on how we live. As we know it's led to an ongoing crisis in affordable housing but at the other end of the market developers are keen to capitalise on the boom. The question is can they convince locals to give up the Australian dream of a house and garden? Stephen Burgess makes a living creating better cities. An engineer and urban strategist, after years consulting across the globe, he's back home in Hobart. Yeah, but when I came back, someone had sort of changed all the settings and filled up one of the most beautiful cities in the world with cars, relatively speaking. And people think, oh, we've got a traffic problem, but it's not a traffic problem, it's a housing problem. Stephen Burgess was looking for a central apartment, but he discovered it was a difficult task. There's not enough of that inner urban housing to go around, which is forcing people who don't really want to to move to the suburb. So why is Hobart still growing out instead of up? Traditionally, there's been a cultural lean towards larger living in Hobart. The city's appeal for many is its big country town feel. In 2016, more than 90% of dwellings were separate homes or townhouses. Flats and apartments made up just 8.6%. Greater Hobart's population grew by 3,300 people in one year. Add to that a housing crisis and medium density living suddenly looks attractive. It's only now that we're getting the increase in the property values in the residential sector where these projects are actually now starting to stack up. But developers say Hobart has so many heritage listed properties it's difficult to find the right site and planning regulations slow things down. Quinton Villanueva has had his proposal for 34 residential apartments approved but he believes there's a disconnect between the planning scheme and what members of council want for their city. Now I'm not, I'm not pretending that you know every development is, is an instant fix but I believe that any supply, doesn't matter where it is in the market, will restrict some of that um, imbalance that we're seeing at the moment in, in both supply and demand. The Lord Mayor says Council is receiving more applications for medium rise apartment buildings and they're being approved. But she says developers also need encouragement. Many of our developers in uh, Tasmania just want to go with what they know, which is the subdivision in the outskirts, in the Sorrells and these kind of places. Anna Reynolds believes valuable inner city real estate that's currently zoned as commercial land may need to be freed up to house Hobart's growing population. And if we can identify those areas and try and facilitate getting more of the medium density housing then we're certainly going to be helping adding to the, the supply of the private rental market. One medium density development that has been approved is here on Bathurst Street on the edge of Hobart's CBD. Due for completion next year, the Commons will have about 30 units and they've all been snapped up for prices between about $350,000 and $800,000. The developers have had success in Melbourne with a similar model based on sustainability and community. Tasmania's capital was the logical next step. I think timing were at the right time. We really saw the opportunity in there. We saw it on its, on its uplift and population growth. And um, yeah, we thought, let's, let's jump into it. So this is the common style. Di Elif has bought in. She's lived in Hobart for 40 years. And now the kids have moved out, she and partner Robert don't need a large house with a big garden and car space. We just have different priorities and we think it's time to downsize and hand the house on to someone who, who, who needs it for, the, for a family. While the developers behind the Commons had an easy run with approvals, there was one hurdle they didn't expect, a lack of labour. They were redoing the hospital, there's so much developed, so many projects down there, so it's a real supply and demand in shortage of, of trades and building down there, which then has an inflation on prices. Despite the obstacles, Stephen Burgess believes more medium density living will create a better Hobart. It's the perfect way to get economic growth, to get population growth, to get jobs growth without getting traffic growth, which is what we all want. An evolving capital city as it continues to grow. Ellen Coulter, 
ABC News.